Hi, I'm Nathan Barnes. I'm here from Naga as their fostering and volunteer manager, basically looking to help people who are currently rescuing get connected with other people who are rescuing in different areas throughout not just your own state, the country, um, looking at utilising transport networks, people who want to foster um, part-time or learn to rehabilitate animals and basically doing this with the assistance of Debbie Bean who's the rescue manager for Naga, uh, N-A-R-G-A, look us up on Facebook. Um, Montana will be doing a video telling you where he's from and what he does soon. My basic interest in this is saving animals lives and teaching people how to do that across the board. Um, as I've mentioned before, once you know how to speak French, you can then talk to every person who also speaks French. Once you know how to speak dog, cat or horse, you can also do the same. Um, basically, I'd like you to do a five minute video letting us know where you are from your rescue group. Um, it can be as dodgy as this and um, things like that. So we can post that on our Naga Facebook site, non-for-profit. We don't make any money or any of this sort of stuff. We just want to get everyone there. And if you've got political issues or animal related um, questions or welfare, whatever, um, come to us. If we're going to help basically try to get assistance for the current animal organisations and situation at the moment by asking government to take a bit of responsibility for all of these animals in Australia um, and helping reduce it. I'm sure that you know giving vets tax breaks as a result of assisting in the NDN, the National Desexing Network, or giving people who are a rescued group and recognise that meet whatever standards they develop um, tax breaks in relation to buying food or resources for rescue animals. Um, so basically looking at this situation and resolving the issues and also not allowing one governing body, the uh, RSPCA in this case, to be in charge of everything because I think it's too much of a responsibility as they said themselves on the SBS Insight program on the 25th of September at 8.30 um, that they've got a massive area to deal with. They've got welfare, prosecutions, um, rehoming, different programs with cell dogs and, and so many other great things occurring within the community. Um, there, there's obviously an overwhelming responsibility because the councils in the RSPCA, um, Animal Welfare League, whoever it is, Lost Dogs Home, all of these places haven't really reduced the rate. Um, rescue groups have. It's a known source. We've got the answer. Everyone, Jim, good girl. Come. Good, leave it. It's a known um, answer. Good girl. Very good. It's a known, sorry, answer and solution. Um, to just do or help the people who are currently do it. Um, Northern Rivers Rescue and Animal Rights, um, I think they've rehomed like 16,000 dogs. Shell from Pet Rescue is like 145,000. Um, Sa Save a Dog Victoria, um, you know, Best Friends Rescue Queensland, um, so basically Doggy Rescue Newcastle and there's some great organisations that we can go to for legal advice like um, Lawyers for Animals and a lot of these other people have got fantastic information, we just all need to combine it as one and make it available to the RSPCA and the councils and everyone as well. Um, not having that one governing body be the only people who are accountable, they make the rules and they can do whatever they want. So we want to help them, help you, help puppies and ponies and kittens and mice what not. So take care from Nathan, and um, hopefully you won't have to see this head or stuff in too many more of the videos. Montana will be making the next one. Take care. Good lay down, Jim. Thank you.